Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the error code 0x00000007C or 0x00006E4. Windows cannot connect to the printer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best match should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the printer troubleshooter and then the run button. And if it's able to identify and resolve the problem, then you know that should be good. And then you can proceed with your task at hand. You can also attempt to research both your computer and your printer. So just power cycle both of them on and off. And then hopefully that could also resolve the problem too. Make sure your printer is also connected to your Wi-Fi settings. So if you're using a wireless printer, you want to make sure your Wi-Fi credentials have been inserted or put into the settings of the printer itself. So make sure it's connected to your Wi-Fi. And then you also want to open up the search menu and type in services. Best result should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And then you want to locate the print spooler service. So right here and double click on it. You want to go ahead and stop the service, and then you want to go ahead and start it up again. And then once that's done, select apply and OK. And then also, if you double click on it, you want startup type to be set to automatic here. Apply and OK. And then hopefully, I should have been able to resolve the problem for you guys. One further thing we can try here as well is if we close out of here and open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best match, come back with command prompt, right click on it and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it, and then go to the top bar of the Command Prompt window, right-click on it, select Edit, and then paste it in. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Sure, bring up the Print Server Properties window here. So basically on this page, what we can do here you can actually go ahead and remove the printer driver you're having the issue with and then reconnect your printer back to your computer or go through the printer and devices setup wizard built into Windows and just reinstall the printer basically. So there is a problem with a particular printer. You can actually just remove it from here and then you would remove driver and driver package. Select OK and you're going to select Yes. Again, this will be for the particular printer you're having the problem with in question. So pretty straightforward process on that front. And then you would go on to the printer manufacturer's website. Doesn't matter if it's Canon, Brother, Epson, HP, for example, or even Xerox, and go ahead and download the latest driver software for your printer. But pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.